If a child questions their gender identity, I, I would say that that's not the problem. It's a result of the problem, and the problem is a much greater problem. How does a child come to that point of questioning their gender identity unless they've been exposed to something else, somebody else who's luring them away and talking to them? In society, the way it's come, where it comes from is really um, the wrath of God, and the wrath of God is being revealed against mankind because they have rejected God as a creator. The scripture says it's that God can be plainly seen through His eternal power and divine nature. That's what can be, be seen in creation uh, in His general goodness. And as God, as man has rejected God as creator, He's also rejected the roles of men and women. God created them male and female, He created them in His own image. And when we reject the creator, we reject that, that, that order that He's put there in male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his a mother and father will be united to the, his wife and they shall become one and they shall be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it. So we, we see uh, gender identity and roles given by the Creator God. And we see the purpose in that, that, that there would be marriage and a union and from that union there would be children and uh, many children. And then together they would take dominion over the earth and what our society has done is turn that all upside down.